um, well, La Loda sent me this uh, presentation, and uh, this is about the uh, GeoS focus area on, as you can see here, uh, on unified height system. And I will try to show the, according to what uh, she prepared, the status of this uh, focus area. Uh, next, please. Okay, so uh, this is uh, uh, what we, uh, what she planned to uh, discuss. So um, there are short-term goals, mid-term goals, and long-term goals, as stated here, in the establishment of uh, the unified height system. And uh, when I'm talking about that, I'm talking about obviously um, the uh, physical light system, uh, which is uh, the one that we are uh, dealing with. So. Um, the idea, the, the beginning, uh, the idea that you had in the beginning is to establish it uh, as a, a global vertical reference level uh, with respect to a given value of the W potential. This is a basic statement, and also to define the standard uh, for the its practical realization. It is like you know, it is uh, the same as ITRF, ITRS. So we have. Uh, some uh, conventions uh, and uh, basic statements uh, and uh, then the, the realization. Um, the midterm goals were uh, about the uh, developing the products, so defining uh, uh, the stations and defined network for the realization, the practical realization of the IT system. So uh, the frame and uh, well, the use of uh, methods for doing so and metadata for, for the IT systems. Um, the last uh, and, uh, goal is the long-term goal, which is you know, to use, uh, to involve as much as possible people working in uh, network uh, uh, definitions and uh, dealing with IT systems in using, uh, when necessary, uh, specifically, I guess, for uh, scientific purposes, uh, well, also for the one, uh, this uh, new concept of uh, the. Uh, okay, next, please. So these uh, were the activity uh, that were uh, during uh, this time period from 2011 to 2015. Um, the uh, at that moment, the uh, work was concentrated on defining uh, the conventionally this uh, global reference level and basically uh, was the the main aim at that point was to define and to establish a new to define a new value for uh, the WO which is uh, by convention to be selected in order to refer all the IT system since we are talking about the physical IT system this is the reference value for, for it. and that was at that time in this four year periods period the idea and the concept um, then uh, the conventions and uh, the standards for the realization were defined uh, right? the aim uh, the IAG group was established on uh, IHRS by IDE basically and uh, uh, some other practical uh, were performed Namely, uh, the one, for instance, uh, uh, under the ESA project, uh, uh, with, uh, which took advantage of the GOES mission. And, uh, uh, okay, the main outcome of this uh, preparatory work, so to say, was the um, uh, definition, the realization, the resolution, the IAG resolution for the definition and realization of the IHRF or IHRS. Next, please. So this is what, in the end, uh, this was in, kind of synthesized in this uh, IAG resolution number one uh, in Prague in July 2015. Uh, uh, and uh, uh, these are the main elements uh, uh, which were uh, identified in order to establish a global international light reference system. Uh, so standards, uh, the value for the W0, which was selected and prescribed, and some other elements related, as you can see, uh, point four, for instance, uh, for the system and the tight system and the cast system, which were selected according to what is stated here. So this is, so to say, 
the end of this preparatory work in order to establish the uh, conventions and the standards for establishing practically the HLF uh, in, in the, for future work. So next, please. Okay, next step, we had activities, uh, so to say midterm activities from 2015-2019, and uh, that was, uh, those, those activities were mainly related to the definition of the network, the reference network. So a first initial guess on uh, a network of points uh, where the W values uh, should be uh, estimated according to the standard that we established, and this is, uh, first proposal. Uh, as you can see, the network is quite dense and covers most of the continents. So, uh, although this is um, a starting point, it is quite a, say, I would say, network for future development of this concept. Um, unfortunately, there's some area in the central part of Africa which are not well covered, but we hope that in the future we will be able to improve also the situation. But that was at that moment, the, the design of the network that we devised. Uh, next, please. Okay, uh, again, uh, among the other uh, activities, we can uh, uh, mention the fact that uh, oh, different strategies for, for the determination of the coordinates as were, were planned, and uh, particularly, uh, it has to be mentioned, this Colorado experiment. That was in the beginning, an experiment uh, aimed at defining uh, different methods for uh, uh, comparing different methods within the geoid. But you know, uh, it is equivalent to say that um, we have to estimate the potential. So uh, it is inherently connected to what we wanted to obtain with the high reference system, international high reference. Uh, that was the, I mean, the Colorado experiment was quite a fruitful experiment because 14 different uh, uh, computation, well, 14 different computation method, but 14 different groups were actively cooperating in that, and uh, it was possible to calibrate different uh, methods to see the differences in an area, the Colorado area, which is quite a challenging area due to the fact that you have, uh, you know, high mountains and plains, so it is really a a good experiment and the outcome was that well at the level of two or three centimeters um, the, the standard deviation the uh, solutions uh, were in agreement so or are in agreement so it is quite a good starting point for the determination of uh, the IGLF also uh, okay then uh, for the uh, strategies for the other work uh, in terms of the unification or the strategy for the unification. And um, I give you know, the release of the standards for the population in the Colorado. That was uh, helpful, it was important because uh, all the different groups were able to cooperate on the same, so say, uh, basis and with the you know, reference values and also with the same gravity data. Okay, next, please. Okay, uh, the outcome of this uh, experiment of the Colorado uh, uh, led us to these uh, new activities. Again, uh, we are approaching to the open day. Uh, these activities uh, covered in a, a period from 2018-2021. Uh, and uh, you can see that uh, in these activities, after this uh, um, Experiment, we were able to define better the numerical standard, the basic standard, the reference ellipsoid, and all the elements which are related to the computer, proper computation of the W potential, which is one the main goal uh, of the uh, IHLF, uh, IHLS. And uh, uh, several different proposals uh, uh, were devised in order to obtain these values in a common way on a common so that they are coherent one each other to one to the other. Um, the main problem that we had to face uh, and that we are facing, I would say, uh, right now, is that uh, we have to um, uh, 
uh, struggle, say, with the availability of data. So, uh, in case you have good data, uh, as it was for the Colorado experiment, uh, the idea is to estimate uh, the geoid based on the data that you have locally in an area which can be uh, around the computation point, uh, well, of having a radius of two degrees or so. Um, this is the optimal situation when you have uh, uh, what you need for a high precise geoid estimation, so the first uh, point which is uh, mentioned here. Um, it could be that you have data or you have no data at all in, in, uh, in gravity data at all in some areas of the globe or they are not available, uh, that's another critical point. Uh, at that, in this case, uh, the suggestion uh, is to use a global uh, geopotential model plus uh, augmented, so to say, by the signal or the topography. And uh, this is available uh, possibility and uh, we advise that and we are checking if this is possible and we uh, want to compare the first um, suggestion, the first way uh, we decided to work with, so gravity, the local gravity, second one. Um, also, it could be that uh, uh, people uh, are willing to improve the quality, the, the density of the data that they have, and in that case, if new data can come into the picture around the uh, IGRF points, uh, one can then solve uh, the boundary value problem in estimating the W potential. Uh, um, also, in the discussion that we had about uh, the methods uh, that were used, uh, we were now we were facing uh, differences, and uh, we are now trying to set up kind of uh, standard um, based on the fact that we want we would like to have different methods uh, for the computation of the potential in order to compare them and to see if they are statistically coherent, which is a the basic for that. Um, obviously, uh, other topics which are uh, important uh, about the uh, station selection, so that again, improving the design of the network and uh, so, so to have national, uh, to allow uh, national densifications. And uh, uh, again, another important topic is a discussion about uh, the long term sustainability system. Uh, once you have it in place, you have to maintain it and to improve it. And uh, this is uh, a, a critical step. And there's a, 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 a paper on that that has been uh, issued. Okay, next one, please. Uh, as for the, again, midterm activities, which has to do with what we have done, uh, is the special issue uh, uh, in general geography which uh, uh, aims at collecting all the uh, experiment uh, or the computation that has been done in the Colorado experiment. And uh, other important topics are the initial strategy for the establishment of uh, IGRF and also um, contribution for the establishment of international gravity reference system, which is a, a broader concept. Uh, guest editors, uh, you can see here, uh, uh, Laura Sanchez, Viontech, uh, Wang, uh, Vergo, Sentiment. And it is closed. Uh, and uh, in all in all, we had uh, 23 papers which were submitted and 18 were published and uh, two and uh, the rest they are uh, two uh, plan to close everything uh, by the end of this month. Next, please. Okay, so you can scroll it at all. Can you show them all? Okay, thank you so much. Okay, so present day situation. Um, as we said, uh, based on the benchmark that we, the benchmark experiment of Colorado, we are trying to uh, improve the, and assess uh, the different methods in order to improve them. Basically, we want to, we would like to see if we can reduce the discrepancies existing uh, among the different methods. 
Uh, basically, this has to do with uh, the way the different methods uh, and uh, handling uh, different aspects of geoid computation. And I guess that, uh, I don't know, within the, in the near future, we will be able to reach a better consistency, let's say around one centimeter. Uh, another important uh, problem which must be faced uh, is the uh, change in time of the potential because at the moment uh, we were mainly focused on estimating a static estimate of the w potential but once you have reached a high precision level you have also to face uh, the problem of uh, defining or estimating uh, the changes in time uh, of the potential itself this has to do with the, let's say, the theory and uh, um, the, from the practical point of view, uh, the computation activities on the right side of my presentation um, is basically um, the determination of the values of, of W potential in uh, the net we have designed. And uh, this is an ongoing effort, uh, and uh, we are now planning to have a first realization of, uh, of the network. Uh, this uh, is done with the support of a large community of researchers, as it is mentioned here, um, 40 colleagues more or less, uh, which are responsible for the geoid and quasi geoid computation, which means, uh, as I said, the W potential in the end, uh, with different method in different uh, region uh, of the world. And uh, this is done also with the support of this uh, study group, of the GCOS study group, uh, named uh, here, the implementation of the International High Reference Frame, which is chaired by Laura and me. And, uh, well, also the IGFS uh, is actively uh, cooperating with that. And uh, uh, we have also a commission, uh, sub-commission uh, um, of Commission 2, and uh, yeah, commission, and the working group of Commission Two, and also of ICCT, that are aiming at improving the method and checking the different uh, computation methods for geoid estimation, as you can you can see here. Okay, next, please. Okay, this is kind of picture uh, showing you the network situation now and who is in charge for what. Okay, so you can see here that uh, you can divide the globe in different regions and in most of them uh, we have uh, uh, people, uh, researchers, who are actively in estimating uh, the W potential in uh, the portion of the network which uh, is up to them. And this is an ongoing uh, computation as I said and uh, hopefully we will finish it, let's say, beginning of uh, the new year. So next, please. Okay, at the moment you have uh, also um, uh, another possibility, as I mentioned, using some regional estimate, and this is uh, what has been done here, is mentioned. So in blue, you can see uh, some uh, possible um, solutions that can be uh, used uh, at the moment and then improved with local uh, estimate. And then again, can you, Please press because there's another Martin. Okay, and in progress we are uh, identifying um, uh, other uh, areas, so South America, Africa, and uh, Asia and Oceania, uh, where we uh, are in touch with people that uh, uh, are cooperating also, and they started cooperating in defining the IHLF. Next one, please. Okay, so uh, as I said, um, the goal is to uh, now, in the end, to establish uh, this network and to uh, make it available to users. So the values uh, should be available and uh, available to users. And uh, uh, there are some aspects, as uh, Laura mentioned here, to get that are to be considered. Uh, so, okay, we need to uh, update the definition and realization uh, according to possible improvement in the theory. Um, updates must be considered also. 
and uh, uh, we have to uh, give support to uh, regional and national agencies in order to uh, have a practical uh, application of this concept of uh, IHRF. And uh, next, please. Okay, in order to do so, uh, Laura devised this scheme, which is a, to say, final scheme, uh, a way uh, this uh, IHRF uh, will become more or less operative. And uh, uh, all the elements that I've mentioned are uh, described here and the relationship among them. So also the relationship with uh, the GIGOS elements, uh, namely the Bureau of Network Observation and uh, the product standards, which obviously can contribute in defining for their own uh, aspects uh, the activity of the uh, uh, related to the establishment of IHRF. And uh, uh, this is, uh, as I said, the general scheme and uh, uh, it is in the end aimed uh, at giving a product to the users as it is uh, stated in the last part of the of this graph next and probably the last one okay so closing remarks um what can we say okay uh, basically during this period the time spent starting from 2011 to present day so to say or 2019 most of the goals uh, for the establishment of this uh, system and the focus area, which is, uh, and the activity of the focus area has been reached. So 60% of these objectives were reached during this period. Um, now we are approaching the, so to say, most challenging, I would say, well, also that was challenging, but the uh, most challenging part now, uh, how to establish it concretely and in, a, in, a, in order to have this uh, uh, network of points where the, uh, um, available W values um, can add to be estimated in a common way and uh, in a coherent way. Uh, we, I guess, based on what we have seen in this uh, experiment of Colorado, um, I guess that we uh, will be able to reach this, this goal. And also, um, as a chair of IGFS, I'm really uh, glad to see that, uh, and, to, and, and I'm really hoping that this will be, uh, IGFS will play a central role in uh, establishing and maintaining uh, the IHRF system. So uh, it has been stated by the by IAG that uh, the data and uh, uh, the also the support um, in order to establish the system uh, can be uh, given by IGFS and the component it's and the Component, the components of IGFS in cooperation, obviously, with uh, the IG commissions, uh, ICC, and uh, a study group, which will be established also in the future. Um, and we hope that uh, by the near in the near future, we will be able to at least to um, establish the network as a first, so to say, um, uh, attempt, first. first uh, example of values uh, in the network that you have seen before so that we can start working operatively uh, with this uh, system of height. Uh, I guess this is all sorry because you know I had to uh, to interpolate among the ideas of Laura uh, and I hope that I will I have described in a proper way uh, probably she would have uh, done better than me this description anyway this is what thank you so much. Uh, thank you very much, Rikaud, uh, about the update of GIGOS Focus Area Unified Health System. Uh, the Focus Area uh, obviously has been a great progress uh, in the uh, past few years. And uh, we uh, unfortunately do not uh, have a role at today, but uh, Rikaud, yeah, you did a very excellent presentation. Thank you very much. Uh, any uh, questions and comments to Rikaud? I have a short question, Ricardo. This is Harald Schuh speaking. Um, maybe I missed it. Uh, who is in charge of the conventions, of the IHRF conventions? 
Well, uh, this is the uh, bill. I would well at the moment we establish a convention which uh, are in the resolution number one, but uh, I guess that the idea is to have the convention in the Bureau of Product and Standards because uh, and we can contribute as IGFS in that. Yeah, I think that's very good. And of course, it should be, let's say, uh, in line with the IRS conventions. There are some common parameters, I guess, and a lot of additional parameters that have to be considered. So yes. somehow it's an extra work, but should be uh, in accordance with the IRS conventions. And also, and also with the global uh, genetic reference system, because you know we are part of that. So we will take care of, of uh, having consistency between and among the different components of IAG and among the different components and among the different um, conventions that can be stated for sure. Thank you. Thank you. Welcome. Mr. Stetlev speaking. Uh, so the. Uh, Bureau of Products and Standards was was mentioned, and so um, yeah, as you know, Laura is a member of the BPS, and so uh, the topic of height system is is involved in our activities, and uh, the height system is also part of uh, the inventory of the BPS. So the standards issues are considered there. Uh, yeah, as I mentioned before, yes, this is exactly yeah. what what I was saying before. Yes, thank you so much for pointing it out. Uh, <clears throat> any other comments and questions to recall? Um, Ricardo, I have one question about the capacity development about our unified health system. So uh, I uh, received many requests from developing countries. Uh, they are very interested in the uh, geo development and unified high system. Uh, is there any uh, plan to do some uh, capacity development uh, events or uh, uh, capacity development uh, materials about unified high system or uh, uh, geo development? Uh, planned or developed by a focus area and uh, AG gravity community? Yes, uh, I would say so. <laughs> right now we are having a school in joint computation as uh, mm -hmm. which is held uh, uh, in a, so to say, on the web, mm -hmm. uh, um, which is held at uh, ISG. And uh, there are many uh, uh, African countries which are involved in this uh, school, um, mm -hmm. for instance, uh, Ethiopia, uh, they uh, even asked for that. They started, you know, asking for this school, and we had cooperation uh, and we published a paper recently on joy computation in Cameroon. So there are activities, and uh, uh, we can even uh, even have more. Uh, I would say mainly focused, uh, centered on uh, uh, the African continent. Mm -hmm. And we will be able to improve this kind of activity because it is necessary because as you have seen, part of Africa is still missing in this project. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Thank you very much. So uh, I'm uh, now uh, currently chairing the uh, working group on Juliet Girlfriend in, in UNGGM Asia Pacific and uh, always uh, member countries from developing countries are asking uh, where uh, they can get uh, information and uh, technical support about geoid and uh, gravity fields so uh, yeah. your information is very helpful thank you very much yeah, you, you can address you can address them to igfs if you yes want. yes thank you very much